Uh, my name is Mike Folnevich, and today I want to talk to you about how to strengthen your arm and uh, to gain velocity on your fastball. First off, the, a lot of the problem is uh, today is a lot of kids, they tend to throw curveballs 60, 70 percent of the time during games or even in practice, they want to they try to get that curveball tight and uh, sharp, but you want to you want to throw your fastball almost 80, 90 percent of the game today if you want to strengthen your arm. Like I said, a lot of kids, they throw curveballs and that just puts a lot of strain on your elbow and shoulder and uh, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not a good feeling. And uh, fastballs today is, is kind of underrated in the game. A lot of guys, they, they go to the slider or the curveball to get outs, but if you want to gain speed and velocity, you just got to throw that fastball almost 80 or 90 percent of the game. To, uh, and, and your arm will get used to that and your arm will get stronger and more healthier because of that and, uh, and it'll get stronger and you'll, you'll feel the difference if you keep throwing fastballs during a game instead of always, always going to that curveball. And another, another thing to gain, gain velocity is, is long toss and that's a, that's a big thing today in the, in the sport. A lot of kids don't do that. A lot of kids, they just go out and get their arm loose probably about 60, 90 feet and they just, they just call it a day and, and go off to practice. But if you really want to gain velocity, you got to long toss at least, I, I, I want to say, three to four times a week. And uh, that, that doesn't mean going all the way, all the way out 300, 350 feet and, and rainbowing them and lollipopping them out there. If, even if it means going I, probably 180 feet to 150 feet and just giving a good, good line drive velocity, throwing as hard as you can on a line, don't, don't rainbow it in the air. It's a nice, easy, this line drive right at the guy's chest. I mean, like I say, you don't have to go out 350 feet and lollipop, but that just puts more strain on your shoulder. My own personal experience with, uh, with the long toss is during, during high school, my junior year, I was, I was probably only throwing 90 to 92 miles an hour. And during that off season, during the winter, I, I experienced long toss. One of my coaches uh, told me I should start long toss. I'm like, okay. And so during, during the whole off season, I was long tossing probably two to three times a week because it was, it, was, it was winter and I, you know, I was just getting, getting prepared. But when it started coming baseball season, I was probably doing it two, two to four times a week. And from my junior year to my senior year, my senior year I was throwing probably about 94 to 97 miles an hour and I was touching 98, you know, occasionally there in the early innings. And I think that, that helped me a lot because I, I, was, I, was I was working out well during the winter a long toss, like I said, two to, two to four times a week. And during, during last year, the Astros finally you know, implemented uh, a long toss program for us. And uh, like I said, we go out there probably 150, 180 feet and get a, get a nice velocity, nice line drive right at the guy's head. And this past season, you know, from, I was going from last year to barely touching 98 to this year, I touched 100 a couple of times. I, I've set 90, 96, 97 regularly and uh, hitting 90, 98, 99, 100 early in the game. And uh, I, th I think long toss will help you out tremendously because it, it helped me out a lot. I didn't believe it early on, but once I started doing it, I, I've been long tossing for probably about three to four years right now and it, it's helped me tremendously. So I think it would help you too. And another thing to strengthen your arm is you really got to take care of your arm. A lot of guys, they don't ice after the games, and icing is a big part of the recovering for, for your arm. And another thing is, it's the workout. You know, a lot of shoulder exercises, there's a lot of, you know, go and just go work out. I mean, for your arm, a lot of guys will go out and throw, and uh, your arm's all fatigue, and then just go back out and throw again. You wanna go, you wanna go to the gym. Or just, you know, nice little, if you got a set of weights at home, just work with that, just shoulder exercises, uh, bicep exercises, just to get your, just to get your arm to stay in shape. And during the season, I mean, even if you just get five pound weights and, and work with it with your arms and your, and your biceps or your, or your shoulders, you, you, know, you, can, you, can, you can stay in shape pretty well and your arm will keep in shape. A lot of guys, they don't, they don't do anything after they throw or, or during the week and they just, they just sit around and, and all that, but you just gotta keep, keep, your, keep your arm in shape, keep it, keep it nice and loose. And uh, you know, it, you'll, you'll start seeing results after you start long tossing, after you're keeping your, your arm in good shape, throwing, throwing more fastballs in games instead of curveballs. I'm Mike Fulton-Evich, thanks for watching this video.